What's up everyone, this is Jalai, welcome back to another video. Is your graphics card super loud and makes a lot of noise? Does it run super hot under load? If so, you must be complaining about performance as well as your graphics card must be thermal throttling. Well, don't throw it away just yet as in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to underwork the graphics card and trust me, it will solve all the problems in addition to a hidden benefit. So let's get started. Let's first see what all the programs you will require to achieve this. The most important one is the MSI Afterburner which makes undervolting possible. Next, you will need some sort of monitoring program which identifies the resource requirements like voltage and power of the graphics card. And for the same, I recommend Hardware Info 64. And the last one is the GPU benchmarking program which runs in the loop in the background such that we can make changes in the voltage and see the performance change in real time. I personally like Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0, but you can make use of Firmark and 3DMarks as well. All three of them are free softwares and the download link are mentioned in the description. Alright, now that we have all the programs ready, let's commence the undervolting. Run Unigen Heaven Benchmark in the loop at the maximum preset such that it is able to utilize 100% of your graphics card and monitor the on screen display. By the way, if you are not sure how to set it up, I made a separate video on it. You can check it out by clicking on the iCard or the link in the description. While Unigen Heaven is running, go back to Hardware Info and see how much voltage and power your graphics card is drawing from the wall. As you see, in my case, the voltage was hovering around 1.05 volts and the power was about 220 watts. The peak core clock speed was 1980 MHz and the maximum temperature was about 65 degrees Celsius. Now, since we have collected that information, what we are going to do is try to lower the voltage as low as possible while not losing the performance and keeping the max core clock speed to the same which is 1980 MHz. In order to do that, let's go back to MSI Afterburner. Just so you know, I haven't made any change in the MSI Afterburner yet and everything is running at stock settings. Now click on this little icon right next to the core clock or you can press Ctrl F keyboard shortcut and it will open this voltage to frequency curve editor. The X axis represents the voltage in millivolt and Y axis represents the frequency in megahertz. And all these points represents the frequency to voltage mapping or in simple term, if we take this point for example, it says whenever your graphics card runs at 1920 MHz, it will draw 1000 mV or 1 V from the wall. Now that we know what this editor is, let's find the first point when your graphics card is at the max core clock speed. For me, it was this point which says that the max core clock speed of my graphics card is 1980 MHz and it will require 1.037 V. Now, as I said earlier, we don't want to lose performance, but at the same time, we definitely want our graphics card to use less voltage so that it will run cooler and fans won't have to spin at full speed, making it quieter as well. So, we will choose a point which uses less voltage than 1.037 volt and change the frequency value of that point to the max core clock speed, which in my case is 1980 MHz. So, instead of 1950 MHz at 1 volt, we want it to run at 1980 MHz for the same 1 volt, hence undervolting. You can either drag the point to 1980 or press the keyboard shortcut Shift Enter to override the value. Change the frequency value to 1980 and click Apply. As you see in the Hardware Info 64, the core clock speed remained the same, but the voltage usage decreased from 1.037 to 1 volts. Wait for some time and see how it performs against your preference of benchmarking program. If everything works fine, keep lowering the voltage by following the same process which is to choose a lower voltage point and make it run at the maximum core clock speed. 1980 MHz at 1 volt seems fine to me, so I will try to lower the voltage by 25 millivolts, which is this point 1890 MHz at 975 mV. Again the same process. Press Shift Enter and replace 1890 with 1980 and click Apply. If everything seems stable, lower the voltage once again and you know the drill. Eventually, 
There will come a time when you will face problems in the benchmarking program. Something like rendering glitches, screen tearing or even crashing and failure of the program. These are the indications to the fact that you have lowered the voltage too much and your graphics card can no longer keep performing at the max core clock speed at that voltage. Basically, it's a roadblock. Your graphics card requires more voltage than what you set to keep it working at your desired speed. In my case, my 2070 Super was working fine at max core clock speed of 1980 MHz with much lower voltage of 925 mV. Following the same drill, the moment I tried to lower the voltage to 900 mV, the Heaven benchmark immediately crashed, which means my graphics card requires more than 900 mV to keep it working at 1980 MHz. Now, you still have three more points between 925 and 900 in case you really want to find the lowest voltage. For the purpose of this video, I will settle down to 925 mV at 1980 MHz. At the end of this lengthy process, compared to stock, my 2070 Super now requires much lower voltage and power as you see in hardware info. I was also able to decrease the temperature by 5 degrees Celsius. And the most amazing thing about this is that we are not losing performance at all, same as before 1980 MHz, which is great. In case you just want to decrease the temperature and don't care about performance too much, all you need to do is lower the power and temperature limits from MSI Afterburner and apply the changes. As you see, the temperature dropped all the way from 60 to 53 degrees Celsius immediately. At the same time, Voltage, power and the core clock speed also went down significantly. There is one more feature available in voltage to frequency curve editor which is if you want your graphics card to perform at a certain core clock speed at a certain voltage all the time, you can find the point in the editor. For example, I am choosing this point which will perform at 1650 MHz at 800 mV and press keyboard shortcut Ctrl L and it will lock the graphics card performance at that point. The moment you hit the apply button, you will notice in the hardware info that the voltage usage is 800 mV and the core clock speed is locked to 1650 MHz. A good thing about this undervolting process is that you can keep the lower voltage for your core clock speed and still overclock the memory clock speed and get higher frame rates. I have already found a stable memory clock speed for my 2070 Super while I was making the overclocking guide video, so I will directly set it to plus 1100 MHz. If you haven't watched that video already, you can do so by clicking on the iCard or the link in the description. So, that is how you undervolt a graphics card. It is a little lengthy process, but it is definitely worth doing it as at the end, with lower temperature, the longevity of your graphics card will increase significantly and the lower voltage usage will thank your pocket with lower electricity bill. One recommendation from me, please test the Underworld across many different benchmarking software, games, etc. Heaven Benchmark might be able to work at such lower voltage, but other programs might not. So it is always a good idea to stress test your changes across multiple different programs. Anyway, that's been it for this video. If you liked watching it, Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PC related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.